See again with another special guest, another keynote speaker. It's none other than what's your name, young lady? Caitlin Newman. Caitlin Newman. So tell us what um I heard your keynote speaker, and um, do you like to mention some of your um, greatest achievements? The greatest achievements in life. Anything. Oh um, man. Well, I think. Overcoming. I think one of my greatest achievements relating to um, the 25th anniversary of the ADA is my ability to advocate for myself. And I wouldn't have been able to do that if it wasn't for the support I was given um, when the ADA was signed in 1990. So because I was given the supports I needed when I was growing up and going through recovery, I was able to uh, build a voice for myself and I was able to figure out you know, what I needed and then also figuring out how to ask for it. And I feel like that's one of my biggest achievements. So that really helped you out a lot with, um, you know, with like whatever dis like, uh, disabilities that, that you were overcoming, yeah. that you found out about these agencies that are helping others, helping anybody in general, yeah. that um, what it's inspired you to be a speaker and what made you, what made you um, get into advocacy? I think, I think what got me into advocacy was recognizing that you know, I was often, I, I found myself often frustrated with um, with the lack of services that I was receiving before, you know, before I uh, utilized my community support. So I found myself, you know, frustrated. Why isn't anyone listening to me? I'm saying things and nobody's understanding what I'm saying. And I'm asking things for, I'm asking for things I need and I'm not getting them. And that's kind of, I channeled all of those frustrating, um, you know, those questions and all of those what ifs into my passion to become an advocate and to share my story to, um, to help others and to also use my voice that I've developed through self-advocacy to give the voice, to give a voice and a platform for those who don't necessarily feel like they have one. And um, going around to all these different places and uh, community events like these where I hear all of these different people, you know, embracing their disabilities and speaking up and speaking out to make sure that people get the support and uh, respect that they deserve, you know, with the dignity as well. And that's kind of what inspired me, you know, as my peers. So um, are there any upcoming events you're going to be attending, folks, if you're ever in the area? Um, I don't have any events coming up next, but if you check out the uh, Youth Power Facebook page, Youth Power NY, or our website, youthpowerny.org. <laughs> or if somebody wants to contact you in person, yes. you need to attend events yes. or, or any bookings, um, is there any email address or Twitter or anything? Do you have email or anything like that? Yep. If anyone wants to contact me, you guys can email me at cneuman, C-N-E-U-M-A-N-N, -N -N, at eeriemha.org, and you guys can check out our website. Website eeriemha.org or youthpowerny.org. So, is there any uh, uh, feedback you'd like to <laughs> bring to the fans? If um, anybody would like to say anything that's on your mind, um, I would. I would just like to say, you know, if you if you feel like you're not getting the support you need, then you are your best advocate. So make sure that you use that voice that's deep inside you and um, use that to create change in your life and to create change in the lives around you. Wow, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much for working. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully we get to see you real soon.